Hey guys, it's Christine with another Chance Resale. I am so sorry I am uploading this at a different time than normal, a little earlier, <clears throat> because I have a show tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time over at my friend Roy's channel, Horizon Picks. We are going to be selling vintage jewelry, I, sorry, not jewelry, well, I'm sure there's jewelry there, vintage items. <laughs> um, there will be 10 of us total selling, uh, so make sure you check it out later. Um, so I'm going to, you know, post this video earlier so I can get through some emails for you guys before I am live with Roy. So um, if you're interested in joining us on his channel, I will put the link to his um, the actual live sale so you guys can just literally click on into it and you'll be a part of the chat. Um, so this is a video where I will be opening the second box that I got from ThreadUp. This is the five pound DIY jewelry rescue box. Um, so as I'm cutting into it, if you're interested in anything you see, please email me at another chance resale one at gmail.com. All my information is always down below in the description box. And um, I will keep a sold list in the comment section. So check that out before you email me. Um, it just helps with the amount of emails I get and being able to get back to you guys in a timely manner. Oh, geez. Um, just give me a quick description and a timestamp. I definitely prefer the timestamps because um, the screenshots, I really don't know, you know, after doing so many of these, and if, especially if they're like an hour long, I never remember where the jewelry piece is that I showed. So I always have to like search through the video a bunch of times. So the timestamp really helps more than a screenshot. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, I usually keep all my information in the description box and um, just check the sold list and we should be good to go. All right, let's see what this box brings for us. Um, let's get all this stuff out of the way. Uh, I don't know why it looks like I'm so close, but that's kind of first look-sees. So let's open it up and see, and I did keep all of the single earrings right over here that were from the last box. I don't know if we'll have any of those mates in this box. Um, they were boxed separately. I don't know how that works. Like, I don't, you know, we'll, we'll just see. I kept them just in case. All right, let's start with this little pile here. This looks like it could be sterling with all that tarnish. Let's bring you guys back down a little bit. Well, maybe not. It's a piece of a bracelet. Enjoy life. Yes, that is true. It might be. So let's give it a quick check. Of course, I forgot to bring over my little uh, cleaning pads for this. So while that's checking for sterling let me go grab that all right how to move some boxes and bins out of the way and look at that it is sterling whoa that's some hefty sterling right there okay so i see another piece of it over here so let's grab that boom right here and we'll put it to the side. We'll see if we can find any other pieces. But this is probably just going to go into my scrap sterling. But we'll put it to the side for now and we'll see what else we can find. I see a little J. Crew sticking out here. Um, okay, this is cute. It's got a little bit of wear, but we'll hang on to that. This looks pretty cool as well. Definitely got some turquoise, some lapis, some tiger's eye. Um, not really sure what that pink one is. Maybe like a mm, 
coral maybe? That's probably coral. So even got some green turquoise. This is probably some quartz. You got some hematite. And this is most likely jade or maybe a nephrite. So let's turn on Pressy and we'll see. But do we have a sterling silver findings? We do. It says 925 right there. So let's, oh, you even have some pretty agate. Look at that. Okay, so let's give a, a measurement really quick while Pressy is starting up. We have a nine and a half inch wearable drop on this. This is really pretty. This definitely looks like real turquoise. So let's put that to the side for now while Pressy's still warming up. Oh, wait, she's ready. Just kidding. All right, I'm going to carefully bring her over because I have so much stuff on my desk. All right, yes. So this is going right in the middle of the, well, it's in the middle for me. It's on an angle. Oh, yeah, no, it's kind of in the middle. So nephrite is right here. So this is nephrite. So that's pretty cool. All right, so for this one, I'm going to ask, let's do 25 on it since there's all this turquoise and lapis and coral and all this other stuff, especially the uh, silver findings. So 25 on that. That was a cool, you know, first start, all that sterling. This looks like maybe a shoe clip. It's pretty nice. Um, it's just got some wear. So we'll just do two bucks on it. It's kind of cool. This is turquoise on a leather cord. This also looks like sterling. Yeah, it's Mark Sterling on there with some nice little jumbles of turquoise. That's really pretty. I mean, the cord is in really nice condition. It is adjustable. It's eight inches without the um, extender. And let's do 15 on this. Well, that's sterling, really nice condition on the leather. Wow, nice start, huh? All right, this is a little earring. We can hold on to that, that's really pretty. Got a little bit of a jumble, jumble. That earring is pretty. We will hold on to that as well. Okay, so this, oh, it's wolves and a moon. Wolves howling at the moon. I don't see any maker marks. It does have an extender, but the way it's sitting now, it's about a nine inch wearable length. Pretty good condition. We'll do four bucks on that. This, I believe is glass. Yeah, these are glass. No maker mark though. It does have an extender silver tone and clear glass. What do we got here? Five strands. Let me make sure we're doing a focus check here. All right. Yeah, so this is in pretty nice condition. I'm going to do a total length on this one. So we can go from 15 inches to 18 inches total length. And I'll do $5. All right, let's get a couple more things out. Oh boy, that looks like a big mess. Uh-oh, and we have feathers. Oh, it looks like there's a bird in here. <laughs> All right, let's try to separate this. All right, that was unusually easy. All right, so this is pretty darn cool. I think my screen is just dirty keep doing focus checks, but I think we're focused. So this has no maker marks. It is very cool. We have these like faux druzies. Um, the stretch is okay. Um, we'll do five bucks. Not bad. All right. Now what is this? 
What are you? This is actually pretty cool. Let me get it straight here. A couple of the pieces are just like wrapped around the top here. So, all right, well, you'll get the point. I'll lay it out. Look at that. Pretty cool, right? No maker mark. I got a really long hair in there, so let me get rid of that. So this is pretty cool. It's in pretty good condition. Kind of like a waterfall necklace. This is gonna hit right at the base of the neck and kind of cascade down your neck. I think that is super cool. There is an extender. Without it, we're looking at an eight inch drop. And all these tassel-y goodness of fringe and such <laughs> is almost six inches. So that's really cool. I like this piece a lot. Let's do six on it. That would look super cool with like a bathing suit on and that's like your only piece of jewelry. Okay, that's really pretty. So let's hold on to that. You know, I'm gonna turn off Pressy so she doesn't overheat and get you know, particular about things. <laughs> Some more tangles, there we go. This piece is marked. Let's see what it is. Express. And it is three tier, like a three, um, length necklace clear gray and this is like a blackish brown actually if that makes sense um, on like a black chain um, without the extender it's an eight inch drop We'll do, we'll do four on this one. All right, let's see what this cool piece is. Wow, look at that. That is neat. So I don't see any maker marks. This is definitely going to be a super cool necklace to sit right at the base of your neck. I don't see any missing rhinestones. Um, how would I measure this? Hmm. Not sure. Let's see. Let's try doing, because this moves. Let's try just doing it like that. So give me one second. I'm going to try to wrap this around. Okay. So it is a 13 inch around, which is very small. But since you can open it like so, it opens to 15 inches. So yeah, this is still going to be a really small neck necklace. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. We'll do $5. All right, let's see what this bird thing is. All right, we are going to put that into crafting. All my crafting pieces are $1. Ooh, look at this cool piece. Wow. Okay, so we have a missing stone on his chin, a missing stone here, a missing stone here, a couple on the ear, a couple on the other ear. Darn. All right, well. It'll go into crafting. That's a pretty nice chain that it's on. So even for a dollar for that chain, it's worth it. All right, this is a super long necklace. Let me get it clasped and then I'll show you. There is no maker mark. It does have an extender, so with a necklace this long, even if it has an extender, you can definitely double it, probably even triple it. 
going and going forever and ever. <laughs> really pretty, nice condition, silver tone with the um, pearl stations. The measurement is 36 inch drop. So it's a 36 inch wearable length and we'll do five bucks. Lucky brand. This looks like a um, wrap bracelet probably. There is some wear to the silver tone pieces. Uh, there's a little bit of wear on this. Um, so we'll just do $4. We have a little like wicker earring we can hang on to. Oh look, here's that other J. Crew. Let's get that back over here. Yeah, but that one's super worn. Look at the color difference. So these will be a dollar in craft for the set, the pair, whatever. This looks like, I don't know what. It looks like shoelaces. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but it's some kind of cord set. So we will put that back in there, and if anybody wants it, it'll be $1 in crafting. Pretty cool earring we can hang on to. Oh look, here's an earring pair. Ooh, these are pretty. These are pretty. I don't see any maker marks, but they are very pretty. Um, let's do, they're kind of, these are like a grayish, right? No, I guess it's like a bronze bead with the gold tone and then the gray. We'll do $4. Those are really pretty. Here's another earring we can hang on to. Another one. Another one. What's this? A little stud we can hold on to. This, is that really Mark 925? Kind of weird, doesn't look like it would be. Huh. Interesting, let's test it. And then let's do the clasp because that is marked 925. All right, let's see. No way. So this whole necklace is sterling silver. Look at that. Huh. Honestly, if I would have just saw this in a bag of jewelry without looking at the clasp, I would definitely not have thought it was sterling. That's for sure. So let's lay it out. So it's all sterling silver. These like oval rings three different sizes. It does have a little bit of an extender. Without it, we're looking at an eight inch drop. And let's do $12 on this. That, that was very interesting. <laughs> Tylee and Bells. All right, these are cute. I don't really wanna open this all up, but Earrings, I will do $4. Wow. If this ain't J. Crew, <laughs> there we go. This is a big mama. Look at this. Wowza. So. It's definitely dirty and in need of a cleaning. There is a little bit of wear on the Senorita clasp, but other than that, I think she's good. 
Yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool. So let's get a measurement. It does have an extender, but without it, it's an eight inch drop. And let's do 10 bucks. All right, what's all this stuff? Okay, this looks like, um, oh wait, they go this way. All right, so you have a piercing on your ear lobe, and then this would connect onto your cartilage, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll do four bucks on those. Ooh, this is cool. Really, this isn't signed? You gotta be kidding. I mean, it's so nice. It's got a really nice weight to it. It is, it looks like it's rose gold. Rose gold tone. Super nice condition. It's sitting at a six inch right now, but it does open up. So let's do five on that. That's really nice. It's in really good condition. All right, what are all these little things? Uh, no, no, and no. So um, crafting on these. This looks like it's sterling too. Yep, I do see 925 on that. So I wonder if these pearls are real. No, they are not. And this is a very small necklace. Let me open it up and do a total length on this one. And it is, yeah, 15 inches with the gray faux pearls. Um, sterling findings, we'll just do five. This looks pretty. Here's the clasp. Let's get it straightened out. No maker mark. Hold on, I'm still trying to get it. There we go. That's cute. Silver tone. You got clear stones here, gray stones here. There's very little wear to it. I think this is nice. Uh, seven and a half inch and then nine inch drop. All right, so kind of like a collar necklace, really pretty, $5. Oh, here's this other earring. Come on, what happened? You're stuck? There we go. We'll do three bucks on those. Stretchy, these feel like glass. Yeah, maybe like a ceramic, not sure. But, or maybe they're just halite. Maybe they're just a stone because, yeah, they're probably just halite. Stretchy, three bucks. I see make sure all the rhinestones are here yeah I think so this is by who is this Avon there's a little bit of wear over here there is an extender it's an eight inch wearable length and then you have the extender to make it longer I'll just do three on this since there's some wear over here Oh, these are pretty. Hold on, let me fix them. Okay, so these are by Versona. So here you go. If you ever see this V on things, Versona. I'm actually going to hang on to these for my jewelry subscription boxes. So that is not for sale. Sorry about that. All right, let's keep it moving. We have this. This is actually pretty cute. It's like 
um, pyramids and it's one of those bracelets that you can pull the strands here to make it bigger or smaller. We'll do four on that. Oh, here's this other earring. Where'd it go? So these are clip-on and screw back. And the beads are kind of like a mosaic. Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? So let's do four on those. All right, this is just, always check the clasp for markings. I don't see anything. These pearls are pr pretty substantial. They have a nice weight to them. They feel good. Let me put this together so that I can do a measurement. They're really long. And a wearable length is 30 inches. So these can definitely be doubled. Um, we'll do $6 on those. Then you have a bracelet. These are real, stretchy, um, $6. Oh, we have a ring. Ooh, this looks nice. Oh, it's marked 925. Marked 925, and let's, I'll turn on Pressy again so we can um, check the stones. So this is definitely a Vermeil, which is a sterling silver ring with a gold wash over it. Um, let's check to make sure it is sterling. It's not showing as sterling, but you do have to get through the gold wash on it, so I don't really want to make a mark. I'll just try this one last piece, and then, you know, I'm not going to be digging through, scratching through the, sterling, uh, the gold wash. Yeah, it's not not coming through as sterling but it could just be a heavier gold wash than normal all right and let's check out the stones oops that's the metal okay they're just glass it's a pretty ring, nonetheless. Let's get a measurement. It's a nice stacker ring. It's a size eight and a half. All right, so let me make sure none are missing. Okay, none are missing and we'll do six bucks on it. Okay. All right, we got about half the bag left. Ooh, what's this? Okay, this looks like a buckle. It's a little, got a little bit of wear to it. We'll do two bucks. The sack. Oh, they make jewelry. Weird. Really? Ew, there's so much hair stuck right here. What the heck? Yuck. Yucky. Oh, let me get all this out of here. All right, it's not all gone, but I'll get it. That's pretty cool. Got a little bit of wear to that. I'll measure it. It is a 13 inch wearable length. We'll just do three bucks on it. This is pretty. Yep, 925 on the clasp. These look like real pearls. 
Nice, nice. So definitely sterling silver. Eight inch length. And let's do $10. This is Cookie Lee, a silver ring with, I guess these are like a gray and blue seed bead, really pretty, has an extender, but without it, yeah, you're going to need it because it's only, <laughs> it's only six inch drop. So this, let's see, let's give you a total length on this one. It can go from 15 inches to 18 inches total length. And I'll do $5. Ooh, what's this? This is locked, but it's not marked. Hmm. Loft but there's no loft hang tag. But it's pretty, it's got these green beads and blue beads, they are all acrylic. There is an extender. Nine inch wearable length without the extender being used, we'll do $5. Looks like we have a set of gold beaded stretch bracelets. Um, how many are there? Six. We'll do $5, really nice condition. Here's a cool earring, we'll hang on to that. Ooh, what's this? No clue, no maker. Nice little cuff. Ooh, wow, that's super, you can move that really easily. I'm, I feel like I'm gonna break it. It's a seven inch circumference and we'll just do $5. All right, let's look at this. This got taken from over there. All right, this is pretty cute. There's no maker mark on it, but look at all the different layers. You got these little um, hammered discs as well. That's pretty. It does have an extender. Hmm, I wonder if this is even gonna be big enough. Let's see. I'll give you a total length from the first layer here. Yeah, it's only 15 inches even with the extender. So I'll just do four on that. We have these bangles. I don't see any maker marks, but they have rhinestones. Let's make sure they're all here. Yes, yes. It is, they're eight and a half inch circumference. We will do five bucks for the set. This looks like sterling, but this chain does not go with it. You can tell. So let's check this out. No, oh, actually it's not. <laughs> All right. Not sterling. JCG. So this will just go into um, crafting. All right, we have black chips with a black pendant. I mean, it could be obsidian, it could be onyx. Not sure, but there is a barrel clasp. Nine inch wearable length. 
Um, five bucks. These look like they might be sterling. Yeah, they say sterling on the ear wire. So we will do five dollars. This is Monet. It looks small as well. Oh, here's this other stud, so we'll get to that in a second. Oh, actually it's not that small. It's 17 inches. So uh, let's do $6 on that. All right, now let's look at these studs because I do see that they are marked with something on the post. Where's my loop? Yeah, 925. So these are all silver May. And I'm going to turn on Pressy because we're going to test the little stones inside. So let's hold on to those for now. Turn Pressy back on. And we have this necklace. These feel like glass. Yep, they have a nice weight to them. Blue and black. Let's get a total length on this. And I think the toggle could be sterling. It's an 18 inch total length. So let's do eight bucks. All right, let's check these really quick. Okay, they're just glass. So um, let's do, we'll just do five on these little studs, Verme studs. Here's another piece. Looks like a, that buckle of some sort, $2. My hands are so gross and dry right now from handling all this, yucky. Okay, these are J. Crew, but I need the other ones, so we'll hang on to that. Oh, look at this. This is cute. Is this a little bracelet? What does that say in there? It says half united fighting hunger. That's kind of random. But it actually looks really cool on. It is tiny. I mean, it fits my wrist perfect. It's a six, six inch. And it's got a little bit of wear, but we'll do $5. It's pretty cool. This does not have a maker mark. It's got a lot of wear on the chain. So it's this like gold seed bead necklace. And then it comes down to a tassel. It is pretty long. 16 inches wearable to the tassel, and then you still have an uh, extender. We'll do five on that. These are cute, little I Love Halloween earrings. Um, four bucks. This does not have any maker. It's a really cute see glass really nice condition there is an extender where's my measure here it is eight inch wearable how it's sitting um, five bucks what is this good something make a something <laughs> all right so let's see what it says because you believed it oh because you believed it has happened matthew eight thirteen. i think that says 
Well, this is cute. It's brand new and it looks like a wrap bracelet. So let's do $5. Oh, we have some more of these pieces. Yeah, these are all pieces of buckles. Look at that, how pretty is that? We'll do um, five bucks for the two pieces. We have a nice little uh, Wonder Woman cuff here. Eek, this doesn't even fit on my wrist. This is, it was really tight to get it on. So six inch wrist or smaller, $5. Here's another piece with a sterling clasp. 925 on there, these are all glass. Very pretty. Seven inch total length, um, six bucks. Ooh, look, this is pretty. These all look like um, adventuring maybe? Super pretty druzy with the little angel wing there. No maker mark though. Uh, nice stretch, $5. We have just a tag here. I think we had this other earring. Yep, right here. So we'll take a look at those after. This is super pretty. This, I was gonna say soda light, but there's a lot of there's a lot of white in it, so I'm not really sure, but the tassel, everything is really nice. It is long. 16-inch uh, wearable length, and we'll do $5. Nice cold stones. All right, now these, I don't see any markings on these at all. They are glass. Yeah, they're not precious metal, but they're in really good condition. There's no backs, but I can get some for you. They're like a rectangle shape, really pretty. We'll do five on those. Ooh, look at that. P-A-J-B-B, -B, China. We'll check that for stones. Let's look at this stuff out of the way here. Love with the Mickey. All right, that's a pretty big knot. Checking the clasp. It does say 925 on the clasp. Let's just check these stones. I'm trying not to hit the metal but they're so small. Okay, they're just glass. And let's check this for sterling silver because this would be a rose gold vermeil. Yeah, that turned a nice blue right there up in the corner. So this is definitely Verme, you got the little Mickey on there. It is rose gold. Um, I'm not going to be able to measure it, but there are a few different sizes you can use. I, I can see the different rings. So let's do 12 on that. Let's see, what is this? This says something, if I can get it untwisted. Hang on guys. It's, oh, it's a Catherine Popesco. Nice, so her stuff does really well. Um, this is super knotted, so I'm, I'm gonna work on this. It seems like it has a lot of wear to it. So, I don't know. If anyone's interested in it, you can email me, but I might just scrap that one. 
All right, this one, I don't see any maker marks, and it is a Lariat. Uh, this is kind of dirty, gold tone, super long, um, four bucks. Let me get this, whatever this is out of here, hair, whatever. Can't even grab it, jeez. <laughs> All right, we got only a few pieces left, guys. And then we're gonna check out that dragonfly. Ooh, this is cool. Look at this. Wow. Got some uh, turquoise cabochons. Michelle Ray, Los Angeles. It's kind of a crude and you know tip over here. But let's look up that because I feel like this is something important. Michelle, what was it, Ray? Roy. Bracelet. Hmm, so there's only two right here, $15 and $62 for a set of three. But let's look up any solds and no solds. All right, well, maybe she's like a little boutique, but this is really nice. Look at that. So let's do um, 10 bucks on this. And this is a little like hammered gold tone cuff. Again, super cute. I didn't measure the other one. This is seven inches, $5. The cuff is, I would put it at a six and a half. That kind of looks like sterling. I don't want to check it right now. Let's just keep moving. We have this. This is like a gunmetal with all of these rhinestones and squares. This is pretty heavy. It's in good condition. It has an extender, but without it, it's eight inches wearable. Five bucks. Okay, we do have this other earring. Where'd it go? Here it is. Screw back clip-ons, four bucks. Oh yay, we have these. These are pretty. Where'd the other one go? Here it is. Five bucks on those, those are nice. <clears throat> Bobble bar. This is a rose gold chunky curb chain, two strand necklace. Really cool. This style is so in right now. It's definitely heavy though. Eight and 10 inch wearable length without the extender. Nice condition, five bucks. All right, here's these. Uh, let me um, check these for yeah, these are nephrite, and they are a clip-on um, screw back, so we'll do five on those. Oh, look, we have another stacker, just like the other one. So let's check this one for sterling. Since this one's actually silver sterling and not a vermeil. Oh, yeah. Oh wait, maybe not. I thought it turned blue, but it didn't. Yeah, so I don't think these are real. Hmm, okay. Well, you have a, a um, silver and gold one. And let me see if this one's the same size. Yeah, eight and a half. So I think I said six on the other one, so we'll do that for this one too. All right, and then let's check this out. 
And then I think, did I have, no, I didn't have that mate. I didn't have any other mates. All right, that stinks. We had that really cool J. Crew one, no mate. Okay, so let's check this out. And we'll check it for Sterling also, it's a pendant. Oops, it would help if I actually brought this on screen. Yeah. All right, so I would say that's a topaz. The Oops, sorry, the blue. Probably citrine. Amethyst. This one's probably a uh, peridot down there. So that's cool. Those are all precious stones, semi-precious stones. Let's check it for sterling. So this was actually a good box, guys. I think it was, well, it may not have been better than the other one, but pretty close. It's not, How? why wouldn't this be sterling? Ay ay ay. Really? Sorry, guys. I would think that this would be sterling. I mean, you're not going to put precious metals, I mean, precious, semi precious stone in silver tone. Oh, yeah. All right. It is. It's sterling. It's just very light. See the blue? I don't want to scratch too much. You never want to scratch too hard because you could leave a mark on the jewelry. So always be careful with that. All right, guys. So that's the box. This one I will do. Um, I'll do 25 on this one. So topaz, amethyst, peridot, citrine, sterling silver, 25 bucks. And let me know what you thought. I thought these were good boxes. So finally, you know, um, I guess Thread Up does good ones every now and again because I have gotten doo-doo ones. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.